Oh, on him, on him! 57, 58. Just listen to what Mrs. Gulch did to Toto. She. Let's do that. Dorothy, please, we're trying to bow. Oh, but on him! She hit him over the. Don't bother us now, honey. This old incubator's gone bad. We like to lose a lot of chicks. Oh, oh, poor little things. Oh, but on him! Mrs. Gulch hit Toto right over the back with the rake. Just because she says he gets in our garden and chases her nasty old cat every day. Let's see. Dorothy, please. Oh, but he doesn't do it every day. It's just once or twice a week. And he can't catch that old cat anyway. And now she says she's going to call the sheriff and... Dorothy, Dorothy, we're busy. Oh, all right. Who was the genius that suggested that we move the wagon before the wheel was on? It ain't so heavy to one will less. That makes no sense. Uh, don't it? Sense or no sense? When I lift the axle, you two shove her on. See, Hickory, know what Mrs. Gulch did to Toto? I swear they made this new wheel smaller than the other three. She tried to kill him! Baker or smaller? Get it on here before my arms will pull your out of their sockets. I had a statue, you no. Know? I need a fire. Okay, okay. Oh, why would anyone listen? Don't you care about Toto? No! Right on my finger. Oh, what am I going to do about Mrs. Gulch, huh? Just because Toto chases her old cat. Now, Lucky, Dorothy, you ain't using your head about Mrs. Gulch. Think you didn't have any brains at all. I have so got brains. Well, then why don't you use them? When you come home, don't go by Mrs. Gulch's place, then Toto won't get in her garden, and you won't get in trouble. See? Quit standing into the junk out of the wagon. We got a parcel of lumber to haul from the town before the weather turns. Will do, Mr. Gale. Oh, what am I gonna do, Zeke? Uh, well, first off, don't let that old gulch hike here and try and muffle it. You have nothing to be afraid of. You just need to stand up to her, that's all. A little courage, a little bit. Well, I'm not afraid of her. That's what I want to hear. Walk with your head up, your chest out, and next up to your spots, you show right up there and spit it in her eye. That's what I do. Would you really? Sure I do. Through this life, you gotta walk tall, shoot straight, and then you won't be afraid of nothing or nobody. There you are! Oh, Zeke, are you all right? What are you trying to do? Kill a guy? How can you be so cruel? It's just a rip, Dorothy. Oh, can't you see how white he is? You really scared him. Here, here, what's all this? Jack rapping when there's work to be done. I know three shiftless front hands I'll be out of the job before they know it. Well, we were just having a little fun, Mrs. Gale. A farm's no place for fun. You want fun? Go to a circus. You might just do that. Be a strong man. See the world. Well, don't start pulling this for right now. Here, here. Can't work on an empty stomach. Have some coolers. <laughs> Gosh, Mrs. Gale. Just big. <laughs> Thanks. Swell. You don't have to sit down to eat them. Get that wagon hitch up and Zeke, you go feed those hogs where they worry themselves into anemia. Just one. Oh, Onion, really? You know what Mrs. Gotch said she did to Toto? She said she... Now, Dorothy, dear, be careful and stop imagining things. Now, you just help me out today and find yourself a place where we can't get into any trouble, okay? Oh, some place where there isn't any trouble. Do you suppose there is such a place? Oh, well, there must be. It's not a place you would get to by a boat or a train. It's far, far away. Behind the moon, beyond the rain. Why? 
years. Started uh, for going on a visit. <laughs> That's it! You're running away! How'd you get us? Oh, Professor Marvel never guesses. He knows. <laughs> now, Tubby dear, why are you running away? Oh, well... Oh, now, now, don't tell me. They don't understand you at home. They don't appreciate you. You want to see other lands, big cities, big oceans, big mountains. Why? It's just like a good river was inside of me. Yes. Oh, please, Professor. Why can't we come along with you to see the crown heads of Europe? Well, do you know any? Oh. Ah, you mean the thing, yes. Well, I never do anything without consulting my crystal first. So I'll just come along now. Huh? Sit down right there. Yes. And uh, ah, aha. This, this is the same genuine, magic, authentic crystal used by the priests of Isis and Osiris in the days of the pharaohs of Egypt, when Cleopatra first saw the approach of Julius Caesar and Mark Antony and so on and so on. Oh. So. You better close your eyes, my child, for a moment to be better in tune with the infinite. We can't do these things first without reaching into the infinite. So you may open your eyes now or gaze into the crystal. Uh, what's this I see? A uh, house with a fence, a uh, barn of a weather vane, and of a of a running horse. Um, that's not it. It's a, a crowing rooster. Oh, that's our farm! Yes, and there's a <coughs> woman in a polka dot dress. Her face is careworn. Oh, that's on M. Her name is Emily. That's right. What is she doing? Oh, I can't let them see, but uh. Oh, why? Why, she is crying. Oh. Someone has hurt her. Someone has just about broken her heart. Me? Well, it's someone she cares for very dearly. Someone she's taken care of in sickness. Oh, well, I had the measles once, and she stayed right by my side every minute. Uh huh. Oh, well, what is she doing now? Well, she's putting her hand on her heart and. She's dropping down on the bed. Oh, oh no! Oh, that's all. The crystal's gone, though. You don't suppose she could really be sick, do you? Oh, I've got to get home right away. Well, was this? I thought you were coming along with me. Oh no, I've got to get to her right away. Say goodbye, Toto. Oh, goodbye, Professor Marvel. And thanks a lot. Oh, well then, goodbye, safe journey. Better get undercover. There's a storm blowing up. A whopper. The vernacular of the peasantry. Poor little kid. I hope she gets home all right.
Well, follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick. Now which way do I go? That way is very nice. <coughs> Who said that? <coughs> it's pleasant now that way too. <coughs> That's funny. Wasn't it just pointing the other way? People do go both ways. Well, you said something, didn't you? <coughs> oh, are you doing that on purpose? Or can't you make up your mind? That's the trouble. I can't make up my mind. I haven't got a brain, only straw. Oh, well then, how can you talk if you haven't got a brain? I don't know. But some people without brains do an awful lot of talking. Don't they? Well, I guess you're right. Oh, we haven't really met properly, have we? Why, no. Well then, how do you do? How do you do? Very well, thank you. Oh. I'm not feeling at all well. See, it's very tedious being stuck here all day long with a pole up your back. Oh, that must be terribly uncomfortable. Can't you get down? Down? See, I just can't. Oh, uh, well here, oh, let me help you. Oh, that's very kind of you, very kind. <coughs> oh, well, I don't quite see how I can... Oh, of course, I'm not about doing things. But maybe the nail down the back, maybe I'll slip off and... Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh. <coughs> <coughs> Whoops! They go with me again. Oh, does it hurt you? Oh, no, not at all. I just keep on picking it back up and putting it back in. Oh, oh. My, it's good to be... Wait! Oh! Oh! oh. <coughs> Did I scare you? No, I just thought you hurt yourself. But I didn't scare you. Oh, why, of course not. I didn't think so. I can't even scare a crow. They come from miles around to eat in my fields and laugh in my oh, oh, face. Oh. I'm such a failure because I haven't got a brain. Oh, well, what would you do with a brain if you had one? Do? Why, if I had a brain? I can well away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. And my head died to scratch while my soul could be the action if I don't got a brain. I don't ravel every riddle for any individual of a or a pain. With the thoughts you'd be thinking you could be another Lincoln if you only had a brain. Oh, I can tell you why the ocean's near the shore. Then perhaps I deserve it and be even worthy of ya If I only had a brain Oh, oh. 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 Well, that was wonderful! Why, if our scarecrows back in Kansas could do that, the crows would be scared to pieces. If they would? Mm -hmm. Where's Kansas? Oh, that's where I live, and I want to get back there so badly. That's why I'm going all the way to the Emerald City to get the Wizard of Oz to help me. You see a wizard? Mm -hmm. uh, do you think if I went with you, this wizard could give me some brains? Oh, well, I couldn't say. But even if you didn't, you'd be no worse off than you are now. <laughs> yes, that's true. Oh, but maybe you better not. I've got a witch mad at me, and you might get yourself into some trouble. A witch? <coughs> I'm not afraid of a witch. I'm not afraid of anything. Except the lighted match. Oh, well, I don't blame you for that. <laughs> but I face a whole box full of them for the chance of getting some brains. Uh, look, I won't be in trouble because I don't need to think. And I won't try to manage things because I can't think. <laughs> won't you take me with you? Oh, of course I will. <laughs> we'll have to see the wizard. Oh, oh, well, you're not starting out very well. Oh, I, really, I will. Two odds? <laughs> Two odds. <laughs> Because, 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 because
Paul. Well, I guess it doesn't matter anyway. We know each other now, don't we? <laughs> That's right. We do. Two odds? Two odds. Where up the sea's a wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. So here he is, the wizard of the wizard, the wizard of Oz. The wizard of Oz. Just like we knew it would be. 
You really must be a wonderful wizard to live in a city like that. <laughs> well, come on then. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Here goes. Oh. Who rang that bell? We did. Did I read? Read what? The notice. What, what notice? notice? It's on the door. Pink smells on my face. Oh. Bell out of order. Uh, please. please knock. Well, okay. Well, that's more like it. Now, stay your business. But we we want, want to see the, the wizard. wizard. Oh, the wizard? But no one can see you up. No one's ever seen me get up. Even I've never seen him. Oh, well then, how do you know there is one? Oh, because you're wasting my time. Orders are no one can see the us. Not nobody, not know how. Oh, but we must. Not nobody, not know how. Please, miss, it's very important. Not nobody, not know how. Oh, but the good witch of the North sent us. Prove it. Uh, she's wearing the ruby slippers she gave her. Uh, oh, so she is. Bust my buttons. I say that in the first place. That's a horse of different color. Oh. Welcome to the Admiral City. Why, thank you. Did you hear that? She'll announce us at once. <laughs> I'm 
have as good as got my brain. I can barely hear my heart beating. I'll be home in time for supper. In another hour, I'll be king of the forest. Long live the king. Go on home. The wizard says go away. Go, go away? away? Oh. Looks like we came a long way for nothing. And I was so glad. I thought I was on my way home. Look, uh, don't cry, Dorothy. We're going to get you to the wizard. We certainly are. How? How are we? Uh, would it do any good if I were? What? I don't know. Oh, and Annie M was so good to me, and I never appreciated her running away and hurting all her feelings. Oh, I'll never forgive myself. Never, oh, never. Oh, don't cry anymore. I'll get you to the wizard somehow. I had Ani M myself once. Come on, follow me. Oh. oh. Wait a minute, fellows. I was just thinking, I don't want to see the wizard this much. I'd sooner wait outside. What's the matter? Oh, he's just scared again. Don't you know the wizard's going to give you some courage? I'd be too scared to ask for it. Oh, well, then I'll ask him for it's it. It's okay. I'd sooner wait outside. Ow! Oh, what oh, 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 oh. Somebody hurt my tail. Oh, you did it yourself. Uh, I, oh, ah, ah, oh, 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 wait, wait. What's that? What's that? I am us, the great and powerful. Who are you? Who are you? Silence! The great the and powerful Oz knows why you have come. Step forward, ten times. You dare come to me for a heart, do you? You clinking, clanking, clattering collection of collisionous junk. Oh, well, you see, Your Honor, a while back we were walking down the yellow brick road and. Quiet! And you, Scarecrow, you have the effrontery to ask me for a brain, you billowing bale of bovine. Yes, yes, Your Honor. I mean your excellence. I mean your wizardry. Enough! And you, liar. Silence, whippersnapper! The beneficent Oz has every intention of granting your request. But first, you must prove yourselves worthy by performing a small task. Bring me the broomstick of the Witch of the West. Uh, but if we do that, we'd have to kill her to get it. Bring me the broomstick and I'll grant your request. Now go! But, but, what if she kills us first? I said, I said go! Welcome to the Winter Forest. Uh, oh no. That said, if you get this far, you're basically lost. <laughs> oh. Well, here's another notice. Let's hope it says something a little more reassuring. I turn back if I were you. I believe there are spooks around here. Spooks? Oh. That's silly. That's ridiculous. Don't you believe in spooks? No. What? Oh. I know, I do, I do, I do. I don't believe in spooks. I know, I do, I do, I do. I don't believe in spooks. Look at the size of the bar! They're not birds, they're monkeys! Oh, no! 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 No!
see you all over. Tell you pulled yourself together. Don't stand there talking. Put me together. We've got to find Dorothy. Yes. And the line will lead us. Yeah, me? Yes, you. I'm going against a fortress of evil. That's right. All right, then. I'll go in there for Dorothy. Wicked old witch or no wicked witch. Guards or no guards. I'll turn them apart. I may not come out alive, but I'm going in there. There's one thing I want you fellas to do. What's that? Talk me out of it! Good 
witch of the north. Won't you help me now? Oh, please. Won't anybody help me now? Where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you'll find me. Start on you right here, one after the other. And the last to go will see the first we go before her. And your mangy little dog, too. How about a little fire, Scarecrow? No, please don't! <laughs> Give a matter a little thought. Go away and come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? But I want to go home now. You've had plenty of time already. Yeah. Do not arouse the wrath of the great and powerful Oz. I said, come back tomorrow. If you really were great and powerful, you'd keep your promises. 
The great Oz has spoken. Oh, oh, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. The great Oz has spoken. Well, who are you? Why, I am the great and powerful Wizard of Oz. You are? Why, yes. I don't believe you. I'm afraid there are no other wizards except me. Oh no, dear! I'm a I'm a very good man, just a bad wizard. What about the heart you promised Tin Man? Oh no, well I. <laughs> and the courage you promised Cowardly Lion. Oh well I. And Scarecrow's brain. Oh, why anybody can have a brain? Back where I come from, we have people who go to universities. They go there to become great thinkers, and when they come out, they think deep thoughts. And with no more brains than you have, but they have one thing you haven't got—a diploma. Therefore, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Universitatus of E Pluribus Unum, I hereby confer upon you the honorary degree of THD. THD? Uh, Why, uh, yes, that's a doctor of theology. Oh. Uh <laughs> the sum of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side. Oh joy! Raptured! I've got myself a brain! How can I ever thank you enough? Why, you can't. And as for you, my fine friend, you are under the unfortunate delusion that simply because you run away from danger, you have no courage. You're confusing courage with wisdom. Yes, back where I come from, we have people who are called heroes. They parade down the main street of the city and with no more courage than you have. But they have one thing you haven't got. A medal! Therefore, for meritorious conduct, extraordinary valor, and conspicuous bravery against the wicked witches, I hereby award you with the Triple Cross. You are now the member of the Legion of Courage. Oh, shucks, folks! I'm speechless! And as for you, my galvanized friend, you want a heart? You are lucky enough not to have one. Hearts will never be made practical until they can be made unbreakable. I cut up in a world figure once, a power among men, a successful wizard, had I not been obstructed by a heart. But I still want one. Why, yes. Back where I come from, we are people who do nothing but good deeds all day. They're called the the filler, the, the, the filler. Why yes, good deed doers, and their hearts are no bigger than yours. But they have one thing you haven't got: a testimonial. Therefore, in consideration of your kindness, I take pleasure in this time in showing you our esteem and affection. Thank now, you. remember, my sentimental friend, that a heart is not judged by how much you love but by how much you are loved by others. It, it takes, listen, listen, it, it takes. Oh, yes. Look what it says on my medal. Courage, ain't it the truth? Ain't it the truth? Oh, they're all so wonderful. Uh, hey, what about Dorothy? Yes, how about Dorothy? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, I don't think there's anything in that old basket for me. Well, you forced me into a cataclysm decision. The only way to get Dorothy back to Kansas is for me to take her there myself. Oh, will you? Could you? But are you a clever enough wizard to do so? Oh, why, child, you cut me to the quick. I'm an old Kansas man myself, a premier balloonist. Mm -hmm. oh. And in that balloon, my dear Dorothy, you and I will return to the land of E Pluribus Unum. Good people of Oz, I, your wizard, am about to embark a hazardous and technically unexplainable journey to the outer stratosphere to confer and converse, otherwise hobnob with my brother wizards. And until I return, Scarecrow, by virtue of her magnificent mindset, 
assisted by Tim Man by virtue of his magnificent heart, assisted by Lion by virtue of his courage. Obey them as you would me. Well, that's all. Goodbye, folks. Goodbye. Oh, wait. Where's Toto? 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 This is a highly irregular procedure. This is unprecedented. Wait, don't go without me. Please come back, Toto. I can't come back. I don't know how it works. Toto! Goodbye, folks. Well, how am I ever going to get home now? Oh, stay with us then, Dorothy. We all love you. We don't want you to go. Oh, Scarecrow, how am I ever going to get home now? Oh, uh, look, here's someone who can help you. Oh, will you help me? Can you help me? You don't need to be helped any longer. You've always had the power to go back to Kansas. I have? <coughs> then why didn't you tell her before? <laughs> oh, because she wouldn't have believed me. She had to learn it for herself. Well, what have you learned, Dorothy? Oh, well, I guess I've learned that it's not just enough to see on you, my Uncle Henry. And if I ever go looking for my heart's desire ever again, I won't get any further than my own backyard. And if it's not there to begin with, I guess I never lost you in the first place. Is that right? That's all it is. <laughs> but that was so easy. I should have thought of it for you. I should have felt it in my heart. No, no. She had to figure it out on her own. Now those magic slippers will take you home in two seconds. Toto two? Toto two. Oh, now? Whenever you wish. Well, that's too wonderful to be true. Oh, don't cry. I love you all too. Oh, Tin Man, please don't cry. You'll rest ever so dreadfully. Here's your oil can. Goodbye. Now I know I have a heart because it's breaking. Oh, and you, Lion, you know, I know it's not right, but I'm going to miss the way you used to holler for help before you found your courage. Wouldn't have ever found it. If it weren't for you. Oh, oh. And you, Scarecrow. Oh, you know, I think I'll miss you most of all. Oh. Are you ready now? Yes. Say goodbye, Toto. Oh. Well, I'm ready now. Well then, tap the heels of your shoes three times and think to yourself. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Oh, okay. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Big storm. Oh, she seems all right now. Yeah, she got quite a bump on her head. For a minute, we thought she was gonna leave us. Oh, but that's just the trouble, Uncle Henry. I did leave you, and I tried to get back for days and days. There, there, lie quiet now. You just had a bad dream. Oh no, but on the end, it wasn't a dream. It was a truly live place, and you were there, and you. Oh. Oh, but you couldn't have been. Could you? Oh, we did lots of silly things for you. No, but on the end, it wasn't a dream. It was a truly real, 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 real life place. And I remember some of it wasn't very nice, but most of it was beautiful. Oh, but just the same. All I kept saying is, I want to go home. And, well, they sent me home. Don't you believe me? Of course you believe me, Dorothy. Oh, well. 